the concept came about in that I'd, I have sort of for years, for seven or eight years, wanted to do a, a show that was about American urban legend. It happens to be a subject I'm fairly obsessed with. Uh, and I had like a million different versions of that show, and then it was sitting down with at various times with uh, you know Len Goldstein and Susan Rovner and Heather Caden at Warner Brothers, but then also with uh, McGee and Peter Johnson at Wonderland. We all just sort of talked about like what would be the best engine in on that show, and and out of it came this idea to do uh, a Route 66 show about Americana, like a road show where you could drive from town to town literally in every episode and find that local ghost story or urban legend that like all the teenagers grew up with in that town and just experience that uh, every week. And so this kind of like faded Americana sort of vibe kind of came out of just, you know, really all of us uh, sort of figuring out the best way to do that urban legend show. Yeah, we're really going for a very unique and distinctive look on Supernatural that we don't think has ever been on television before, which is just sort of what we're calling uh, decrepit Americana. It's sort of like this sort of Route 66, 50s chrome culture. It's like 1950s American optimism sort of rusting and gone to seed, where it's like it's very uniquely American, like faded farmhouses with... uh, uh, peeling paint houses and sort of lonely roadsides and like uh, old, you know, uh, old Route 66 style motels with kind of faded neon signs and sort of dusty and, and, and really American. And, and it'll, it's a show that's going to be very uniquely the look of our country, but with just the slightly ominous kind of, uh, uh, you know, golden look to it, which I, which I think is going to be really special. And, and David Nutter is doing an incredible job of, of capturing that look. And it, it really looks like nothing else on TV. I mean, just faded Americana is going to be, it's really going to look cool, I think. Audiences are going to connect with this show because it's going to scare the living crap out of them. And, and they're going to sit there and they're going to sit on the couch and they're going to grab the arms of their significant other and they're going to throw their popcorn and, uh, and they're going to love it for that. And then on top of that, they're going to love it because underneath all the scares and all the comedy and all the production design and everything, this is a show about two brothers. And this is about two brothers coming together and falling apart and fighting but exhibiting fierce loyalty towards each other. And it's a show about family sticking together. So that's, I, I think people are going to connect on all those different levels.